Hello Leo, welcome to your love reading. We're gonna be looking at who or what is coming towards you in love. As always, these are meant to be general love readings, so they will not resonate with every Leo watching 100% every time. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. Um, before I jump into the reading, oh, um, real quick, uh, check your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance. Sometimes those can resonate more. Um, all of the playlists for each sign are linked in the description box so you can find those messages to see what else is. Um, so let's jump right in. For Leo, spirits, guys, messages, guidance, please. For Leo, what can Leo expect in love? The chariot, I keep seeing the chariot. What can Leo expect in love? Okay, so what can you expect, Leo? Page of Pentacles and the Five of Wands reversed. Okay, great. That's good energy. Um, so definitely something coming in for you. What is influencing this energy, past energies? Knight of Cups reverse, Nine of Pentacles. So someone's feeling really good about themselves is what I'm getting here. Um, this could be somebody that's acting like something doesn't affect them. I'm also getting that someone could be breaking free emotionally. So something no longer has an emotional hold on someone. We'll see what this is all about. Um, when I clarify, how are you feeling? What are your energies? Knight of Swords, the Hangman Reverse. A lot of movement for you. No longer feeling stuck. Okay. I like this. There's a like a theme here of freedom. Or, you know, overcoming difficulties. Um, or overcoming pain you know what about this other person this could be the person you've dealt with in the past or currently dealing with or could be dealing with in the near future seven of pentacles four of wands so this person's um waiting for something um i feel like things are not great for this other person okay uh, what do you need to know that you don't know? Seven of Cups reverse. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Okay, interesting. So your last reading, or I think it was November, you and them. It was a reading about the fog clearing up or getting clarity. Seven of Cups reverse made me think about that. However, the Ten of Pentacles is reverse. Four of Wands is reverse. These two cards, when they're reverse, I think of instability. A lack of balance, um, a lack of security. There could be a broken commitment here or a long-term commitment that is severed or um, not doing so well. This is what you need to know or what's going on behind the scenes. So we'll have to clarify and see what that's about. And what can you expect in the near future? Ten of Swords, the Empress Reverse, some sort of ending of a cycle here. This could be for you or for another, the person that you're dealing with. Take it as a resonate. So I feel like there's still something that's not over. It's gonna be over, but it's not completely over with the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords typically are very painful because there's like an emotional um, connection to the ending. So um, you could be feeling like, like you were stabbed in the back or like you were hit at your lowest etc. We'll see what that's about when we clarify. The Empress is reverse. So I feel like someone's not dealing well with this ending or something ended that never had potential for growth. We'll have to see. So what's the overall energy, um, the why everything is happening, uh, the root, the foundation at the bottom of the deck? Well, it's a wands. Okay, so this is great. This is why everything is happening because I feel a new beginning has to take place here or there's a new start on the horizon, something that you're headed towards or your or, um, your connection is headed towards. Okay, so let's clarify. Let's get some insight into what's going on in here for you, Leo. Clarity, please, spirit. Clarity, guidance for Leo regarding love, relationships. There's definitely something coming in because the Page of Pentacles is here. And this is what you can expect in love. This is something small, but the fact that the Ace of Wands is here and the Ten of Swords is here. Hmm. I just feel like something is um, beginning. And look what's at the bottom of the deck here, the world. Exactly. 
there's like a new cycle something new and this is happening for all signs and i feel like it's still happening for you the lovers so it could be a, a partnership let's see tell me about the ace of wands why is the ace of wands here what can you tell me about the ace of wands eight of wands movement action communication why is the ace of wands here now ace of wands is something very quick so the eight of wands knight of i mean did i say ace of wands the eight of wands <laughs> the eight of wands is typically very quick so is the knight of swords so i think there's something happening quickly tell me more about this ace of wands ten of wands something here could be um laid to rest a burden that needs to be let go of or something that's almost at the finish line here the hangman okay so this i feel is something that's weighing someone down or blocking someone this could be you because you have the hangman reverse so there could be um there you might have felt very stuck recently or like um um, well, I'm, I'm literally getting the word upside down. Things have been upside down for you. Um, some of you, this is health related. Uh, you got bad, bad health news or your health has been affected. You don't feel like yourself. Others of you, I think um, you're realizing that this burden, all it's done is held you back, whatever this is. Can I get one more for this Ace of Wands? I feel like this is important, this Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Ten of Swords, yeah. So this is this um, new beginning is tied to this ending, which again, and there's the world, exactly. All of this is connected. Um, if you are sitting there, Leo, and you're like, oh, I don't want anything new, I don't care about cycles beginning, I don't care about cycles ending, then this is not your reading. Um, I feel like there's definitely some, and this could have already happened, this Ten of Swords. It's just you're dealing with the aftermath now. Okay, so let's see what this Page of Pentacles is all about. Some of you, this is a job offer. You won a job offer or you won against, you know, sometimes when I see like a Page of Pentacles or an Ace of Pentacles with like the Five of Wands reverse, you were the winner. You came out on top. You were the chosen one. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? What's this Page of Pentacles about for Leo? Look at that, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, there's definitely something coming in for you, Leo. Now the Four of Cups makes me pause. I feel like this isn't possibly uh, the offer that you were expecting or it's not from the person you were expecting. There's the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This could definitely be work-related for a lot of you. A promotion, a new job. Who had this type of reading? I did another reading. Um, it could have been Capricorn. There was another sign I did. I can't remember right now, but it was very it was definitely finances related. Okay. Tell me about the five of wands reverse. I also sometimes when I see the ace of pentacles with the four of cups, it's an offer that comes in that has potential. But it wasn't everything you wanted. You maybe had to compromise. So for example, the perfect job offer, not the perfect salary. This could also be an offer from a particular person you're interested in, something solid, and there might be compromises. Why is the Five of Wands reverse? There's the Ace of Wands again. Look at these aces. Nine of Swords. So um, you are worried about this, whatever this is um, that you're headed towards that's new. There is possibly some worries there. However, I think that this is something that's temporary. I have the Ten of Wands, Nine of Swords reverse and uh, Five of Swords reverse um, at the bottom of the deck here in the main deck. So I feel like this is temporary. This is the, your, what you're worried about is non-sequential. It's not gonna, or what's this, is that even the word? The word is that it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I can't, I completely forgot. Inconsequential. I'm pretty sure that's a word, but for right now I'm like, I have not confident about that. Six of swords after that. So I kept seeing the chariot, the six of swords while shuffling. So there's some sort of move that you might be making here. 
Again, this could be career related. Um, you're definitely moving forward. Knight of Wands there. I think you're worried about this move. Um, if it's someone new that you are interested in that's making you an offer in terms of love, you're worried about that. If it's about career, there's some worries there too. Possibly because you didn't get exactly what you wanted or expected. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles with this Knight of Cups reverse. What do we need to know about this Knight of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups reverse? Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Cups reverse, Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Four of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Hmm. Whatever this is, oh man. Okay, so some I'm getting a message for some of you. It's not gonna obviously it's not gonna be for everyone watching. But um and I, I don't know why I'm getting me like specific messages like lately, but I, I have been. And this is gonna be like for like one or two people. But um some of you um Fake it until you make it is the message. So how do I explain this? Some of you need to, I don't want to say play pretend, but do not let your emotions affect your opportunities. So if this is a job opportunity, for example, you could be dealing with some things personally that are affecting your self-esteem, your confidence, that are affecting how you feel. Um, I feel like a lot, some of you could be depressed um, or really down uh, because of what, what you've been through. However, do not fumble this opportunity. If you have to fake it till you make it, then do that. Put that smile on and work through it because that those feelings won't last forever. Those feelings will not be forever. Um, I feel like for those of you that are having to fake it till you make it, this emotional baggage that you're experiencing, it could really pull you back. And um, it's I'm picturing like a, a blindfold. So you're, you're, it'll blind you from your opportunities or the opportunities ahead. Um, okay, that's just a, I'm not going to keep going with that message, but that's a message I got for some of you. Um, you might not feel your best, but wear that outfit that makes you feel really confident, etc., etc., etc. Um, others of you, I feel like this is a situation where you have become a cold person or, um, you're having to be a more cold, distant person. I don't know why I'm getting this for you, Leo, but this is what I'm getting. Um, like I'm literally picturing you as someone that's tough to approach, someone with a tough exterior, an armor that you're wearing. Um, this is, is almost like an illusion, you know, you, you want to, you, you are appearing as if this is not affecting you. Um, I feel like some of, some people might be thinking that you're very brave, um, but it's because you're holding back how you truly feel. I feel like you're showing yourself to be a queen of swords, but deep down you are a queen of cups, if that makes sense. This could also be the person that you might be dealing with. Um, you know, I'm getting this energy of someone who's, who's wearing a mask, but not necessarily in a manipulative sense. Because I feel like someone is really a nine of swords, four of cups, but they're appearing as a nine, uh, nine of pentacles, queen of swords, so that they can get through this. So that they can put their best foot forward, so that they don't squander this opportunity that has arrived for them. Okay, so let's see what we have between you and the other person. Some of you, I feel like this person, you've never met them before. And that makes sense because we keep getting this theme of something new, uh, ending and a new beginning, something new, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, okay? Ten of Swords is here, Ten of uh, Wands, Tens are numbers about completion. So to me, it makes sense that somebody completely new is headed your way as soon as you're done with all of this. But we'll see if I'm right about that. Spirit, can we give it can give us some insight into the energy between Leo and the person they have are or will be connecting with? Ten 
Tell me about Leo. What do we need to know about Leo's energy? Breathe in. Tell me about Leo's energy. What do we need to know about Leo's energy? What do we need to know about Leo's energy? Past life. What do I see? Okay. Um, breathe in. Past life. Walking away. Yeah, there's definitely something here about leaving the past behind, perhaps. Healing from the past. Um, meditating, reflecting, healing about what's happened to you, Leo. Um, someone could have walked away from you in the past and it's still affecting you as well. But I think for a lot of you, you're the one moving forward. Tell me about the person Leo is, has, or will be connecting with. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person? Bountiful harvest, abundance, growth, patience. Plant seeds, now watch them grow and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Okay, interesting that Seven of Pentacles is here. Makes perfect sense. Deep regret, uh, remorse, guilt, responsibility. There's regret over past actions. Now, some of you, this is someone that you have a past with because I have past life, deep regret. But others of you, I'm getting the sense that whoever is coming your way is someone that has learned from their mistakes. Um, however, they're very hesitant um, because of their past. So this seven of pentacles is typically a card about someone that has planted some seeds, is ready for the harvest, but doesn't really know if the harvest will be successful. Will all, will, will all of my hard work pay off? Will all of this end up a, you know, being a good harvest? Do I have to start all over? How much longer until the harvest is here, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I feel like this is somebody that is um, focused on growth, abundance. I'm trying to figure out what this is about though. Let me grab a kipper. I don't wanna like clarify too much here because I wanna get to the rest of the energies too. Can we get some insight, please, on the person Leo could be dealing with here? What do we need to know? Imprisonment. Okay, so this person, um, oh, okay. They could be feeling stuck, are stuck in a situation. Hmm. See, this is why I don't feel like you and this person are together. Like, I don't think this person is someone that you've been with in a long-term commitment or anything like that. Um, if you have been with this person, it was a long time ago, um, because I feel like this person is dealing with their own situation that keeps them from you. Like I'm getting a wall between you and this person. Okay, so let's clarify for you here. What's this Knight of Swords for Leo? What's this Knight of Swords? This is a message coming in, some sort of information coming in quickly. Seven of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. This might take you by surprise. Like, um, I feel like your instinct or your initial reaction will be to be like, whoa, back up or who are you? <laughs> okay, the Lovers again, Gemini Energy. This could be a soulmate reaching out or someone that, um, I don't know, I'm getting like a, it could be a Gemini, someone with Gemini in their chart. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. This is someone coming in for you. Uh, Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about the Hangman Reverse. The message could be that someone's no longer stuck. The message could also be coming in after you are unstuck from something or no longer trapped. Judgment. Okay, so yeah, see, you're seeing something clearly here. The Hangman Ten of Wands. I feel like this is something that happened in your past. I feel like you're seeing something regarding that and it's like you're you're able to no longer be stuck in this energy king of wands aries leo sagittarius energy this could be you going after something motivated passionate driven wow two of cups there's the nine of pentacles once again this energy of being single available Confident, attractive. 
some of you there's something with like a fall coat <laughs> i don't know some of you maybe you wear a coat and you feel like you're the you know fill in the blank you feel great in that coat i feel like someone notices you because of that anyways let me not let me not get distracted nine of pentacles two of cups again i feel like this is a package deal So let's look at this person. Tell me about the seven of pentacles. What's this about? I keep seeing the moon. Tell me about the seven of pentacles. Nine of wands. Yeah, you're both kind of marrying each other here. I feel like you've both been through your, your stuff. King of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Tell me about this um, seven of pentacles. Tell me about the seven of pentacles. The tower, holy crap. Yeah, and then there's the four of wands. So something has happened in this person's home life, um, at home, in their family unit, or a tower moment has happened here that has made this person feel a bit unstable. And that's probably why they're worried about the future. Whatever this is, nine of wands, it's really affected them. I feel like it's affected um, their stability. King of pentacles. Uh, job related, this could be... Um, yeah, something definitely happened here. Uh, with imprisonment, I'm getting this person probably has no idea what their options are, or maybe their hands are tied. The high priestess. Mm, this could have been a secret. Something that surprised this person, or a revelation, perhaps. The Empress. Knight of Wands. So I'm getting kind of similar. Okay, quick energy for them, quick energy for you. Going after something. King of Wands, Knight of Wands. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, all these offers. I'm just getting this energy that either... Either you're, you've both experienced tower moments or difficult endings separately. Or somehow you know about each other's tower moments. Because I feel like there's a connection here. But I don't think it's because you're both in the same... Like I don't see you both in the same household and there's a tower there. I mean that could be the case for a minute number of you. Like very small number of you. But for the majority... Like, I almost get this vision in my mind. I'm seeing, like, um, two houses next to each other. You're able to see in, inside of each other's houses. Or somehow, like, let's say you're co-workers, right? And you both have are, are going through divorce. Somehow you know that about each other. You know, it's something like that. This person, they had a, a revelation, a, a huge shakeup in their life. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower. I think one of you at least, th there was an end of a partnership. Because I have the Ten of Pentacles reverse over there. Tell me about the tower. Yeah, the fool. They're having a new beginning after a tower. You're having a new beginning after a Ten of Swords. So I feel like it's a similar energy. Okay, so tell me about the Seven of Cups reverse and the Ten of Pentacles reverse. What can you tell us about the Seven of Cups reverse and the Ten of Pentacles reverse? Page of Pentacles. Okay. So everything that's happening, Leo, it's after something horrible. <laughs> I mean, that's just what, how I'm seeing. This could be a job offer for a lot of you. It could be a job offer that, for example, moves you to a new location and then you meet someone new. Or it could be a job offer where you are feeling a bit more confident, more stable in your life. So then you start going out more and then you might meet somebody or something like that. Um, I feel like this is an opportunity that comes in uh, and it kind of um, starts things in a new, it's like a whole new path that you're on. Knight of Cups, yep, and Five of Swords. So um, I get the sense that there's someone else that is jealous or it's not on your side, they're not your friend. This could be a parent. Some of you, this is a sibling or a friend. Um, 
I don't, I don't think it really matters who it is. They're not on your side. It's almost like they want to, pardon my French, because I normally don't cuss, but it's like they want to shit all over this. This is something that comes in for you and they're not super happy for you or they pretend to be happy for you. I say, who cares what they say? <laughs> I mean, go, go listen to your intuition. I feel like whoever had the Ten of Pentacles reverse is really working to build themselves back up. You know, start over, Page of Pentacles. And this Knight of Cups is telling me that this could lead to love. An, an offer that is either emotionally fulfilling at work or leads you to meet someone at work or something like that. This could be a new project, a new um, business, an endeavor that you're starting. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be like a corporate office type of job. But someone is like not happy that you're doing this or not happy that you're getting this offer. Um, I don't know, like I'm getting some negative energy with this Five of Swords of someone like watching you and almost like wanting you to fail, which is kind of messed up. Okay, so let's see, what can you expect? Where is all of this headed? Ten of Swords and the Empress reverse. Tell me about this Ten of... Now, it would not surprise me if... Well, let me not get ahead of myself. <laughs> Tell me about the Ten of Swords and the Empress Reverse. What do we need to know, Spirit? Ten of Swords and the Empress Reverse. Yep, Nine of Cups. Tell me about the Ten of Swords and the Empress Strength. There you are, Leo. Ten of Swords and the Empress Reverse. What do we need to know about the Ten of Swords and the Empress Reverse? Seven of Swords. Yeah, I feel like there's someone... Um, hmm. There's someone that you can't trust, and perhaps that's the Ten of Swords. But overall, I'm getting, yeah, there's the Moon, and the King of Cups, and the Chariot, the, yeah, Pisces, King of Cups, and the Chariot. Okay, I'm, I'll get to this in a second, because I feel like my mind is going a mile a minute. Let me focus. <laughs> Let me focus. Okay, so right away, the first card we got was the Nine of Cups, which is telling me satisfaction. Um, someone gets their wish granted. Someone's very proud, very happy, very... Um, uh, um, satisfied with their success, their hard work. Um, so I feel like even though there's an ending here, Leo, don't despair. Don't feel like this is it for you because I feel like there's more to this that you probably can't see. Um, strength, this tells me that this is related to you. I feel like this is something that perhaps you have to have courage to um, overcome or you need to be strong. Um, or perhaps this is just something that makes you very happy. Um, but I feel like with this Empress Reverse is probably, you know, I'm, I'm getting the sense of you being told no um, for a reason. So, you know, it's probably a spiritually guided no. Or, a re you know, is you know that phrase, rejection is just redirection or rejection is just spirit's protection or whatever. That's kind of what I'm getting. Now, the Seven of Swords is telling me that this is probably someone that um try to take try to um p perhaps get away with something or try to be sneaky try to um hide something from you try to be secretive um this is probably somebody you can't trust that's in your midst um they could have backstabbed you they could have betrayed you you know but i feel like you are going to rise above that i feel like there's the six of pentacles i feel like things will balance out on their own and it's because I feel like you are headed in a whole new direction here with the chariot, a, a direction that I feel will take you to someone very loving, nurturing, someone very caring. Um, or it could just be that you are in an emotionally, um, how, what's this word, elevated? Like you, you're just elevated emotionally or spiritually. Um, like I see you very emotionally mature or learning a lot from this. And be more emotionally healthy, um, taking care of your mental health and things like that. Because I feel like you are in a different path here towards success. You might not know exactly where you're headed. Um, or you might not have seen this happening exactly the way it did. But I feel like you are headed somewhere completely different. So it doesn't really matter what someone else tried to do. This was a very interesting reading, Leo. Very unique. Uh, if it resonated for you, let me know in the comments because I feel like this is going to be very specific for a lot of you and maybe it won't resonate for most of you, but I feel like this is definitely, a, for a lot of you, this is someone new coming into your life. You might know them as a friend or as an acquaintance, but you've never actually been romantically involved, at least not for a long time. 
Can I get one more for the Ten of Swords? I'm just curious. Can I get one more for the Ten of Swords and the Empress Reverse? Oh my gosh. The Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Swords, yeah, and then the Magician. So what I heard is it's complicated. There's Ace of Cups and then the Six of Cups. Once I saw the Eight of Swords, I heard it's complicated, meaning it's not all rainbows and butterflies. This, this, um shift that's happening for you with the wheel of fortune it's an opportunity that is probably spiritually guided um it's an opportunity that will change things for you i feel like you're in a momentum forward which has been an ongoing theme for leos um i feel like this is you manifesting the ace of cups manifesting love or manifesting an offer that's very emotionally abundant emotionally fulfilling like you're going to be very emotionally satisfied with whatever takes place some of you are meeting your soulmate i mean i that's just right there i see it wheel of fortune ace of cups six of cups come on um so yeah that's what i have for you leo thank you so much for watching uh hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all in another video very soon take care